Um, hello, my name is Emma Campbell and I studied at Newport between 1998 and graduated in 2001. Um, I started there after doing a foundation in Belfast with John Duncan as my uh, photography tutor and when he saw the work that I was doing he obviously recognised something quite documentary in its approach and kind of groomed me for Newport and prepared me for the interview that I had there with Clive Landon and Paul Seawright. Um, he'd already introduced me to the work of Paul Graham uh, and Paul Seawright and Hannah Starkey and this kind of unusual approach to photography which I'd never ever seen before in Belfast up to that point um, was quite thrilling and exciting and I actually didn't think I'd get in because I'd only been doing photography for a few months but there you go, I managed to get in and um, made some great friends and uh, had the scare of my life in the first few weeks when we were doing the passionate work and the printing and um, standing in a queue with your little black and white um, paper strips trying to show Clive your, your printing skills and that's in fact where I made, made friends with uh, Stephen Farrell who has been a friend since then, a very good friend and we actually still share a house together. Um, I also made friends with Lucy, very good friends with Lucy Walters who then took my wedding photographs and I'm trying to think, like so many other friends that weren't even in my class but were uh, in class above, below that I've kept in contact with throughout the years and gone and stayed with in various places. So um, it, it definitely fostered the idea of a community, probably because you're so steeped in in the documentary photography course that whole time um, and I think as well the terrifying baptism of fire technically and having to put your pictures up on the wall was it once a fortnight or once a week was a bit of a terrifying prospect um, mm. but it really helps hone your discipline and your you make work that then you are willing to stand behind and um, that really stands in good stead, I think. Um, I, after Newport, where I ended up making uh, work, a diaristic piece of work, after some quite traditional work I did in the first year, and the start of the second year, I then moved into a slightly more personal arena and did um, a, a diary about, um, about sibling relationships, well specifically with my sister and it's like a, also a bit of a farewell to my childhood which I only realised in retrospect and we, our class showed at Photo Fusion in Brixton which was great and I remember Anna Fox and who was the other person who came to see it, anyway it went down pretty well, it was before Free Range existed and I think we did quite an awesome job to get our show there um, and since then I started working at Network Photographers with Andy Aitchison and Francesca and there are quite a few photographers there obviously who are ex-Newport folks um, so immediately even in the world of work the, the name Newport kind of followed me around in a good way um, to anyone who knew anything about photography. Um, I then went and worked at the Independent um, and met Susan and Victoria, who were the editors of um, Victoria Corrin and Susan, I can't remember her name, the editors of the uh, Independent on Sunday, who were great and recognised Newport as a, uh, you know, a fantastic place to come from and study photography. And then after the Independent, I worked at the BBC for quite a long time and initially as a, an assistant, but ended up being uh, commissioning photographers and um, there was a few courses that always kept coming through that you'd recognise and Newport again was one of them um, and the rigour that you would have applied to your own work in Newport was really helpful when you're on the other side of the coin and applying it to other people's and looking at portfolios and um, that critical eye that was fostered by the, you know, things like the amazing lectures from Ian Walker um, and I think probably Newport will always be the linchpin in my photography. I've even gone back to study with Posse right again, apparently I couldn't get enough of them at an MFA in Belfast and I'm uh, 
working with John Duncan again at Source magazine left the Times behind. Um, so yeah, if it wasn't for Newport, I don't think I would be here in a full circle, but with all those kind of amazing experiences in between. So thanks, Newport. <laughs>